Good morning. It is Friday, March 27th. Um, I am getting sick of, sick of just being stuck home all the time. Oh well. Uh, sort of have multiple nights had trouble sleeping. Um, last night I, I think I solved it pretty well, considering I'm knew I was off work. Uh, I just, uh, when I had trouble in the middle of the night, I just got up for like three hours, you know, watched, again, more Critical Role. I'm at the point, I'm like, I'm, I'm going to try and maybe catch up while they're clearly on the hiatus for obvious reasons. I'm like, let's see if I can catch up and get back to it, because I, I fell like two and a half months behind. So I'm, I'm working my way to catch up and I'm loving it. I'm like, oh man, I've missed this. <sighs> so, I mean, we'll see, I don't know. Part of me is like, I really hope this whole ordeal doesn't last long enough for me to actually catch up because I want it to be over and done with, but who knows how long it'll last. Anyway, so, did that and then just slept a bit later into the day because why not? Uh, and I think it actually helped me get a, a better night's sleep just because I wasn't trying to force it to all be at once. Whatever. Otherwise, I uh, made myself some hot tea because why not? Not really sure what I'll be doing, getting done today. I'm still kind of stuffy. My nose is stuffy. Not a big fan of it. That's part of why I have this. <laughs> The trees are in bloom. It's like um, spring has arrived this week while I've been locked up inside. Um, anyways, it's not that I don't have food I could just make at home. I do. I still got groceries enough to make several more meals. Um, And if it were that, there are certainly closer places I can go if I just needed to get something to eat. But I, I had to get out of my house. I've been in there since Monday morning. Uh, I, I really, other than like taking out the trash or such, like I haven't left. Um, I, I can only do that so long. Also, I, I think, you know, uh, every so often it is good to go out and drive the car, make sure the battery doesn't die from just idly sitting there with whatever security system running uh, that slowly drains it. So I was like, you know, I, need to, I need to get out for that. So I figured, you know what, going to get something nice to eat that I can just take home, that means I have to drive the car a little bit, and... Let's me just see the sunlight briefly as it, you know, can be other humans. Might be more healthy than not at a certain point. I am doing the best I can to isolate as much as I can. But I will, for one, say. I'm, I mean, I live alone. It is just me. I know and I see online so many people that they're doing their social isolation, social isolation, whatever, but they're not alone. They have kids, significant others, whatever it may be. I'm jealous of that in the best of situations. Uh, when I'm told just stay inside, stay by yourself, see no other people, it hurts. So I'm gonna go get something to eat at um, Chipotle. And so basically taking half hour, 35 minutes out of my day to get out. Uh, majority of that time spent in the car because there was no line in Chipotle at all. Although they had like duct tape X's 
along the floor saying where each next person could wait to make sure that if there was ever a line, that the line stayed socially distant. Um, but yeah, just most of it in the car. Getting some sunshine, fresh air. Gonna have something nice to eat. I mean, I can cook. And it's fun to cook, but I don't enjoy home-cooked meals. I mean, they're okay, but I, I definitely prefer, like, going out and getting something. It's, it's definitely my preference. But yeah. And now, heading back home. To isolation and loneliness. Oh well. It is the life I lead, I suppose. Burrito, chip salsa, deliciousness. I'll have that. And I, I feel like I can breathe easier, which is weird. Because I usually associate in my mind that when I go outside, especially around springtime, that it makes it harder for me to breathe because of my allergies. But there's probably some sort of balance. And I have been in this stuffy house for days. So I might, after I eat... Try and open up the the doors with the screens there and let some air circulate through, I guess. I'm just gonna air things out. Uh, it's just stuffy in here. I tried uh, opening this door too, um, but realized very quickly the screen door doesn't actually meet, so bugs could get in. Uh, and I don't want bugs, so I guess that's just one more thing with that patio that I never got around to fixing. Oh, <laughs> this is the first time it's come up in the time I've been here, so not too pressing. And um, I've been oscillating between being very stuffy and occasionally not being so bad all day. Uh, enough that I've just kept the door open for hours at this point, just trying to let the place air out as I have been just stuck in here non-stop for the better part of the week. Um, checking my temperature, I either have a very small fever of like 0.1 or 0.2 degrees, or am significantly under temperature. I don't really know, because if I take the temperature multiple times in a row, it shows up different each time. Great. I don't know what to think then. Uh, <laughs> uh, but otherwise, you know, with the door being open, instead of going in the other room, I've just been laying in here in bed, either reading the book or watching the YouTubes. Plus, being stuffy like this, I don't feel like sitting there editing or anything. I'm definitely at a point where I just, I just want to feel better. I talked to my mom for a little bit, and, you know, and she's all concerned. Like, you know, I didn't even bring it up. She brought it up, the idea of... You know, should, should you find a friend that you can just hang out with and say, I will risk this one person, and that way you're not alone? I'm like, no, I shouldn't. Uh, if, you know, not for just normal we've been told not to, then also because I'm not feeling up to it. I don't want to hang out with anyone. I feel like crud. I've been feeling like crud for ages. I'm like... Yeah, I don't like the whole being alone thing, and it sucks, but I need to get the feeling better thing under control first. Anyways, um, I guess it's, I mean, starting to think about going to bed. It's later than it has been some other nights when I've gone to bed, so uh, I'm not doing too bad for that. It's already after 8, but I will say thank you for joining me. Join me as my journey continues. Bye.